ETFs have become so popular that the money invested in ETFs has gone up by 3,000% since 2003. There are now around 7,000 ETFs out there, which makes picking the right ETF difficult. One of the biggest ETF providers out there is Vanguard with $1.9 trillion in assets under management and 80 ETFs. In this video, we will take a closer look at the four best Vanguard ETFs that are very different in their investment style, but all best in class in their category. I promise you there will be at least one ETF that will be right for you, so let's go. What's up everyone, this is FU Academy, your channel for financial education and on this channel I share lifestyle, investing style and educational videos just like this one. So if you are new here, consider subscribing. Let's look at the first no-brainer Vanguard ETF, the Vanguard Total Stock Market ETF, ticker symbol VTI. The objective of the VTI is to track the total US stock market, so not just the 500 companies of the S&P 500. The VTI tracks the crisp total market index. It's less well known than the S&P 500 index, for example. And in fact, the CRISP index is only followed by Vanguard's VTI ETF and by no other ETF provider. To be included in this ETF, a company only needs to have a market cap of at least $10 million. So compared to the S&P 500 ETFs, the VTI gives you access to more companies and ultimately a higher diversification. The VTI has a total expense ratio of 0.03%, which is very low. There are actually just a handful of ETFs that are even cheaper than this one. ETF costs are displayed as total expense ratio. It shows you the operating costs that an ETF provider has for setting up and running a fund. These can include management, trading, legal and auditor fees. Its performance over the last 10 years was solid with an annual return rate of 16%. If you compare it to the S&P 500, then you can see how both have been moving side by side. This ETF has a fund size of over $260 billion and it's the third largest ETF globally. A high ETF fund size means high liquidity, which is great for you because the price of buying and selling an ETF is closer to the market price. A large fund size also shows a high demand and that an ETF is doing well, which means that there is a less risk of that ETF being shut down, which is also good for you. So make sure you invest in ETFs with a large fund size of $100 million and more. The VTI invests in over 4,000 companies, which gives you a nice diversification. It includes the 500 S&P 500 companies, as well as an additional 3,500 smaller stocks. These 3,500 smaller stocks are known as mid-cap and small-cap stocks. In fact, the S&P 500 companies alone make up 80% of the VTI, and that's because this ETF, like most ETFs, is a market cap weighted index. It means that companies with a higher value also make up a higher share of the ETF. The opposite of this would be an equal weighted index where all companies have the same share of an ETF, no matter how big and valuable a company is. In the top 10 holdings, you won't find any surprises. You will see the Apples, Microsofts and Alphabets of this world. The top 10 holdings make up 23% of the fund. The VTI only invests in US companies. And lastly, it pays out quarterly dividends with a dividend yield of 1.2%. Now, investing in one country only is risky. In the last 30 years, there were many cases where investors that were only invested in one country saw huge drawdowns because of local stock market crashes, economic collapses, or various other reasons whilst the global stock market remained relatively stable. Examples are the Japanese stock market crash in 1990, the 1997 Asian financial crisis, the European debt crisis in 2010, and the Chinese stock market crash in 2015. Bad things can happen in one country and one country only can't consistently outperform all the others. That's why it makes sense to invest globally. And that brings us to the second Vanguard ETF, the Vanguard Total World Stock ETF, ticker symbol VT. And that one invests not just in one country, but in 47 countries. It tracks the FTSE Global All Cap Index. And the great thing about this ETF is that it covers 98% of the global stock market. The VT is a one-stop shop ETF that 
gets you all the diversification that you need in one ETF. The VT has a ridiculously low expense ratio of 0.08% considering what it does. Its performance over the last 10 years was solid with an annual return rate of 12%, not quite as high as the S&P 500. But if we look at the decades before that, then international stocks have regularly outperformed US stocks. The fund size is $23 billion, so super liquid. The VT invests in over 9,000 companies. The top 10 holdings make up 14% of the fund, which is more balanced than the other ETFs of this video. So the VT invests in 47 countries in both developed and emerging markets. But if you look at the country breakdown, you can see how heavily this ETF is invested in the US. That's because the VT is also weighted by market cap, which means that more valuable companies have a higher weight. And at the moment, the most valuable companies come from the US. That's why the VT allocates 58% of its fund towards US companies, which is high. But the remaining 42% are invested in 46 additional countries in developed and emerging markets, which gives you a diversification booster. And lastly, dividends are paid out quarterly with a dividend yield of 1.6%. But hey, question to you, how important is your dividend yield if you look at ETFs? Let me know in the comment section below. Now the global stock market performance has been very strong in the last 10 years. One investment style that has performed even better than the market were growth stocks. Growth stocks are usually younger and smaller companies that are in the beginning of their life cycle. The main feature of these companies is that they grow their profits or revenues faster than the average market. If you want to see a dedicated video on the best growth ETFs, then check out the video in the link. That brings us to the third Vanguard ETF of this video, the Vanguard Growth ETF, ticker symbol VUG. It's one of the simplest and cheapest ways to invest into growth stocks. This ETF was launched in 2004, which makes it one of the oldest and most established growth ETFs. This ETF filters the largest US companies by growth metrics like revenue and profit growth. The VUG has a total expense ratio of 0.04%, which is one of the cheapest ETFs out there. Its performance over the last 10 years was very strong with an annual return rate of 19%. If you compare it to the S&P 500, then you can see how both moved side by side until 2017. Then with the rise of big tech, the VUG took off and outperformed the S&P 500 as the market benchmark. This ETF has a fund size of $81 billion, so very liquid. It invests in 287 companies. The top 10 holdings make up 47% of the fund, which is very high in general, but quite common when you look at growth ETFs. The VUG only invests in US companies and pays out dividends every quarter with a dividend yield of 0.5%. Something to be mindful about is the sky-high PE ratio of 37. You will see that most growth ETFs have an above average PE ratio of 30 and more, but 37 is high even for a growth ETF. Another investment type that is booming at the moment is ESG investing. It's a type of sustainable investing that focuses on two things, financial returns of investments and its positive impact on the environment and society. In the last few years, a lot of capital has been flowing into ESG. From 2014 to 2019, the money invested in ESG ETFs has gone up by almost 9x. And capital flow in investing is key because it determines the share price of companies. If you want to know more about ESG investing, its benefits and performance, then check out the video in the link. And Vanguard has very interesting ESG options which brings us to the fourth ETF, the Vanguard ESG US Stock ETF, ticker symbol ESGV. This ETF does negative screening, so it excludes companies from ESG unfriendly industries like adult entertainment, alcohol, tobacco, weapons, fossil fuel, gambling, and nuclear power. This ETF has a total expense ratio of 0.12%, which is the highest amongst the four ETFs of this video, but one of the lowest you can find in the ESG space. The ESGB was launched three years ago, so you don't have a long performance history, but in that time, it has outperformed the S&P 500. This ETF has a fund size of $5 billion, which is large enough. The ESGB invests in over 1,500 companies, which gives you a very 
really nice diversification. The top 10 holdings make up 28% of the fund, which is high. It only invests in US companies. And lastly, the ESGB pays out dividends every quarter and the dividend yield is 1%. So there you have it, four Vanguard ETFs that are very different, but all best in class in their own categories. We looked at the VTI, which invests in the total US stock market, the VT, which invests in the whole world, the VUG that focuses on growth ETFs, and the ESGB that invests in ESG screened companies. But hey, what do you actually think? Which one is your favorite Vanguard ETF? Have I missed one that should have been on the list? As always, let me know in the comment section below. I hope that this video could bring some value to you. If you like what you saw and you want to support this channel, then please make sure you subscribe. Thank you very much for doing that and peace.